A while back, I was waffling on about how vertical storage was the key to this admittedly small workshop space. And yet, precious little has happened, well, I've done precious little, to make it happen, or well, the current mode of um, storage is still sprawl, and unfortunately that sprawl is increasing. So since doing the first one, I've upgraded the second mobile workbench, this one here, to also include a small part storage, uh, which leaves the one in the middle here, that's at present just empty space and not much to use it for unless we count uh, wood off cuts in an IKEA bag. I'm not going to use this for um, the small part storage that I have in these two benches, instead I'm going to do something different. I'm going to pull in drawers on drawer slides, but first, in order to have the same width as in these guys and to have any storage solution that I make for the sides of these compatible and that means rather than the about 10 centimeters it's got to be 15. We'll add plywood to the sides, a back panel that's going to sit at the same distance from the other side as under two small part storage cards. So that every sort of part solution that I have is compatible between all three of them. I'm going to use these drawer slides here the um, full extension drawer slides and 35 centimeter length and it should hopefully give me a good amount of space to put in drawers. Now the height in the front here is 61.5 centimeters and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in six drawer slides. At the bottom there will be one that's um, 18 centimeters on top of that, two 12 centimeter ones and on top of those three six centimeter ones. So anything like, um, for example, these big heavy screw tubs here, they can sit in the, the bottom drawer. Anything that is a little taller can sit in the two in the middle. And anything that is really quite flat, like sandpaper, for example, and speed squares, they can all sit in those flat drawers at the top. Now these legs here are all the same width. There are 9.7 centimeters. That makes it easy to get to 15, right? So I need 5.3 centimeters. Unfortunately, these bits here are one smaller than that. Because no, no two by four is five centimeters, even though two inches would be actually five centimeters, but they're all less because inches. No, um, don't get me started on that. Anywho, they're all less and they're not all quite the same. These two here are 4.4, this is 4, and this is 4.5. So in order for me to get from my 9.7 to 15, I will have to cut um, different strips to make up the difference between 9.7, let's say the 4.5 here, to get to the 15. Now I'm just quickly going to write down, do the calculation and write down the measurements of the strips that I need to cut for each of these pieces here. Good thing I have the table saw right here. Sure enough, that one's nice. And this one's eight. Marvelous. Oh, that's a good airflow now. That's better. That's the stuff. There it is, sitting to just dry a little bit, weighted down with kettlebells. Well, at least they're seeing some use.
that just scribed in the back here, fitted this in and then scribed in the back where I need to cut to have this the same depth as the already installed legs. And I'm going to do this for the other three as well. pieces are about five centimeters thick so I need at the very least um, 80 mil screws but I have those it's fine So now with the side panels in place, time to start looking at the drawers. I have these drawers here, 35 centimeter full extension drawer slides. That's what it is. Now I'm going to take the width of, of this opening, subtract 12.7 millimeters, that is 25.4. Because each of the draw slides is 12.7 millimeters, um, and then I have the measurement for my drawers, and with a bit of luck, it'll fit in just fine. Well, as far as throwing the drawers together, minus the front, but as far as throwing them together, that's done. Now to get them in there, and I've really try to figure out a way to install these when the drawer slides, the inner ones, have to be on the drawers and the rest of the damn drawer slides has to be in there. How to make sure that it all fits and it all lines up, etc, etc. So, what I've come up with is this. These drawer slides here, they will go on the sides like that, where the bottom of the draw runs exactly sits flush or lines up with the bottom of the drawer itself. And that means that I can take the center line, I think these are 45 mil wide, so 22.5 mil is the exact center line where all the screws would go, and mark that off here, and then put this one as the inner drawer runner. Put this thing exactly on that line, make sure it lines up sweet as. And I think I figured out a way to. I know the height of each individual drawer, and since I know that the bottom lines up with the bottom of these, what I'll do then is I'll grab two pieces of, uh, of plywood and cut them to the exact length that all the five bottom drawers would take plus the, the two millimeter gap, put them against here, this wall there, rest this here on top of those two plywood pieces, and that should give me the exact location of where the drawer is going to sit. When I'm done with the top, I'm taking the height of the top drawer, minus the two mil gap, off those plywood strips, and then repeat the same thing for the next one down, and so on, so on, until I'm basically down at the bottom, for the bottom drawer, and hopefully that'll work. I have a problem, and the problem is thus. So I put in the drawer runners, and as we can see here, I've made the drawers not wide enough. Um, yeah, that's obviously not right. I don't know what happened. I'm missing about, I want to say a centimeter. And because I made all the drawers of the same template, they're all too narrow. It's not an unsolvable problem. 
all I have to do is just make one of the sides, or possibly both, if I want to go symmetrical, thicker, so that um, it then fits snugly between the draw runners and I have something to screw them into. I'm not going to use plywood because I will have to cut something to fit the gap there. And if I use plywood and make it thinner and then drive a screw through it, it's probably just going to um, splinter and disintegrate. So for, I guess, my packing these out, I'm just going to use ordinary timber uh, because that has a little more flex and better screw retention. So here's the outcome. This tiny little sliver of wood, I think that's now down to five maybe five and a half millimeters. Oh, it's just about enough to make up the difference, bridge the gap and hold that drawer. And that's the second one in. Uh, it is pretty tight, but yeah, this fits as intended which makes me really really paranoid about the next one things don't usually work out here for me uh, finally they're all installed and because of course i was using warped old plywood that i found in this garage when we moved in or after i started rummaging around nothing here is as straight as it should be as I wanted to do anyway. But somehow I made it work. Of course the front still have to go on. This is where I'm going to keep my speed squares, sliding squares, outdoor measuring tape. So there's a theme here, anything with a millimeter scale or centimeters anyway, it goes on there. This is where I put all the sending stuff, or in this case grinding stones or wet stones as well. This one here I'm not sure about yet, probably small tools. Know. The fronts, so these are all 12 mil thick. I have three with uh, six centimeters height, two with 12 and one with 18. I think what I probably want to do is um, locate the exact center of each piece and then sort of like notch a little finger slot or something in there that will allow me to pull them out. Probably something very simple. I'd say probably 10 centimeters wide looking at uh, the width of my hand. Uh, 45 degree angles in the sides and like if these are six centimeters down and probably like three centimeters that would be my notch there just send it out so that gets splinters every time we use them now getting the width for these pieces is a very um, involved and complicated process i kid it's not and one cut later yeah that'll do these are all now cut to width, and I suppose I'll just mark the center point for each of these. Especially the lower corners, I'm just going to go lazily with 45 degrees because that's what my sliding rule here, or sliding square, already has in it. Since I have the bottom, the bottom corner is clearly marked, I'm just going to go off that. There we go. So all this bit here is coming out. I am losing daylight and there isn't much of it today anyway because I've been 
rain all the time. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to glue this on to some extent. That looks about right to me. All right, I dare say that works. That works rather nicely. All right, I'm going to slap the rest of these on. And then there's only the back panel left to do. And here we are. All the drawers installed. The get measures are not perfect. Well, they're not great. Well, they're not much of anything, but it's fine. Again, this is a workshop. Not a museum piece, not something I want to sell and charge lots of money for. It works. It's a sort of fitting front all made out of uh, timber just like the rest of the mobile workbenches and that's what counts now for the back panel one of my absolute non-favorites is getting a job almost done and then there are still those little finishing bits left over you don't want to do them Probably not going to see them. They're not critical to the actual work, but they take a hell of a lot of time and effort and everything. In order to do this, I just had to lift another full sheet of plywood off my storage, balance it over here, put it over there with the table saw here so that it was it was supported while I cut it, put a cross cut in it with a um, with a circular saw it's a lot of effort for something that's going into the back of the unit let's see if i got the dimensions even even slightly right it won't. actually Okay, so now I have to take it back out, put pocket holes around the sides, the bottom, up here, one and two, uh, and put it back in. Put all the screws in, and then at least this part of the job will be over as well. <laughs> 